Hello, Sunstar. Um, I just went back to the hotel for a few hours. Probably ended the video before that as well. So this is probably a new video. Welcome to the new video. This is part two, I'm guessing. I don't know. Anyway, I'm out at Badlands National Park in South Dakota. My first time in South Dakota. Um, if you haven't seen the first video from this trip, um, if I can figure out how to do it, there will be a little card or something up there. As of now, it's uh, two hours till sunset. As of now, there are no clouds in the sky. It's been a very weird weather weekend so far. So, I'm, uh, basically I think that there are going to be some good compositions regardless of whether I need a sky um, in the shot. So if I get any clouds then I'll probably go for a wider shot that includes the sky and if not I'll just try to find um, some compositions that have uh, some alpine glow I guess on, on some of these geologic formations out here in the Badlands. Um, so either way, I think sunset should be pretty nice, unless it's just totally socked in, but that shouldn't happen considering it's two hours away and there's not a single cloud in the sky anymore. So I'm kind of surprised with how much I've been, how much I've liked Badlands National Park. I've always thought of myself as a mountains person, and this is, uh, there's some to topography, if you will, but it's, I mean, we're in the middle of the plains. This is South Dakota, after all. Not a lot of mountains in South Dakota. Um, but from a photography standpoint, all of these little geologic features, and I don't, I, I don't know what to call them, so I just keep calling them geologic features, but all of these little ero remnants of erosion, they're little pointy hills, they look like mountains. They're just like mini mountains, but they're just as like um, dramatic, and they're just as like bunched up together. And I think, I mean, especially with like the fresh snow that started to melt just a little bit, it looks like I'm seeing mountain ranges from the air, like, the, just all the time. Um, so I'm able to just kind of, instead of being limited to, to just, like, have to drive 50 miles to see a, a very different view of different mountains, it's, it's just, they're, they're, you can go 20 yards and have a totally different view. Um, so really, surprisingly, surprisingly impressed. I think the snow helps. I think the snow helps, but it's... Even if the snow wasn't here, I think that it would be pretty cool. So I'm, I'm looking forward to coming back here in the spring and the summer and uh, seeing what it looks like in the rest of the year. So that was pretty cool. I just uh, was just driving along and I saw a tiny little bit of movement way off in the distance out of my driver's side uh, window here. And uh, I looked down, it looked like a coyote. And I was like, oh, yeah, that's pretty cool. So I pulled out my 600 millimeter lens. And even with that, with the full frame camera, he was too far away, but I got a couple shots. Parking lot puddles. It's probably not gonna work, but. Definitely don't want a polarizer on that one because that'll cut through the glare and show it's the road. <laughs> but actually, that turned out pretty cool. <laughs> we'll see when I get back on the computer. down this road that seems to be aligned well to the sunset. Sun is setting there. All of these guys over here. And it's just all the way back on the road like that. So the biggest problem is that there really are not going to be any clouds in the sky. I mean it's sunset in less than an hour and it is just a blue sky day. It's nice to be out here but not really gonna get a sunset hello sun star um, probably not gonna get any real sunset with regards to color in the sky now that does mean that I'm gonna get some alpine glow or whatever it's called when it's not on, on mountains but I'm gonna get some um, some color on these things here these uh, mini mountains and um, so the question is 
do I not do a composition like this tonight because there's no clouds and just hope that there will be tomorrow. And then tonight I go somewhere that's kind of a grander vista and get some more of those close in shots that don't have a sky at all. I'll probably, because I've got a little bit of time, probably see if I can find a composition here that I like, that I can use for tomorrow. Um, I'm not going to spend much time on it just because I'll have time tomorrow to scout out as well. But, oh man, decisions, decisions. That is some muddy water. Cool though. Yeah, maybe something like that. That creek, probably a little closer to here. And then just go with kind of that sort of thing. I guess that makes sense. Not bad, but nothing special. I think that if there were some cool clouds, I could make it work, but in that case, there's probably a, a composition that would work even better. So, um, could work, could be an option. Let me keep looking. I'm kind of driving around looking for a spot um, to shoot sunset at. And um, if I'm being perfectly honest, I'm not really finding much, and I think it's mostly my own fault. But I'm a little bit overwhelmed with how much there is to shoot here, and it's kind of hard to just pick one area and shoot it. So I think I'm okay with that because I'll definitely be coming back. But it's, it's hard because, you know, I don't think it'll ever be, it'll ever look like this again just because I'm not going to come here very often. And chances are I'm probably not going to come back in the winter, at least for a while, because I've already been here in the winter. So I'm, I'm, I'm struggling a little bit to find a composition, but I, I, it's probably because they're everywhere and I'm just trying to find a really good one. So the risk is that I, I miss it entirely and just don't get anything. And that's okay. I would like to get a shot tonight, but it's not the end of the world if I don't. Eh, unfortunately I'm running out of time. I only have 15 more minutes until sunset and I'm still driving. Go figure. I feel like that's a line in every single video that I've made. Oh well, hopefully I'll find something. Man, I really wish that there was some cloud in the sky. Maybe a little bit that way. Okay, there's like a tiny little bit of high cloud on the horizon. We'll see. Okay, so unfortunately this camera died like right when I was right when I got to the spot that I got that I um, went to go shoot at so <laughs> I didn't film anything of it yeah so I kind of missed the part of sunset where the the golden light was was just catching the edges of the ridges down in the Badlands but I was able to um, kind of walk down this ridge which was it looked a little sketchy but it, it was totally fine um, to uh, kind of get some of the the blue hour shot and then there was quite even though there weren't a lot of clouds in the sky it was pretty pink and um and so that that pink reflected down onto part of the the foreground and so i think i think it's actually a pretty cool composition i'm pretty happy with it um and basically i got a couple versions a, a portrait a landscape and then just a couple different compositions with the the patterns in the snow um kind of in slightly different shapes just based on where exactly I had the camera. I was shooting all of it with a 16 to 35 f4 lens and doing focus stacking since I was really close to my foreground and didn't want to do like f22 or something. Um, so I'm really excited to see how those turned out. So 
So I think that's it for uh, day one of the Badlands. I've got another half day tomorrow, so I'll try and do sunrise. Probably just the pinnacles, um, not anything crazy. and just kind of go in with my long lens and try something a little bit different. And then um, I've got a seven, seven, eight hour drive back to Denver tomorrow uh, evening. So I'd like to do that before uh, before too late. So this is probably my, my one and only sunset in Death Valley, in Badlands, in the Badlands. I haven't been to Death Valley. Yeah, so I'm just gonna sit here, watch the rest of the light fade, and um, enjoy the, the last of this awesome day. Thanks for watching, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. If you can give this video a thumbs up down at the bottom, it helps other people find the video if they're interested in photography stuff. And um, I think that's it, have a good one, bye.